Just read an interesting article in the Washington Examiner, dated December the 2nd, 2017. This is December the 2nd, 2017. Tax reform bill passes Senate Republicans get win in early Saturday votes. Written by Susan Ferriccio and Joseph Lauer, L-A-W-L-E-R. Senate Republicans succeeded early Saturday in passing a sweeping $1.4 trillion tax cut bill after days of negotiating and a scramble at the end to lure in a handful of GOP holdouts with several last-minute changes to the legislation. Vice President Mike Pence presided over the final vote at 2 a.m. after Republicans secured the 50 votes needed for passage and then passed the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. 5149. Bob Cork of Tennessee provided the lone GOP no vote, saying the bill added too much to the debt. Hey, uh, Bob, uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, you have been in the Senate for who knows how long. Now, did this debt just occur overnight? Wasn't it Barack Hussein Obama who doubled the debt in the eight years that he stole the Oval Office? How come nobody was concerned about the debt at that time? How come nobody spoke up when he paid $1.7 billion to Iran for a $400 million that was confiscated back in the, in the 1970s when Iran held our members of our embassy hostage for two years? Those individuals and their families should have been given that money, not the Ayatollah. But that never bothered you, huh? All of a sudden now you're concerned about the debt. Another worthless senator. Bob Corker. Go find something else to do. This is a great day for the country, said Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell after the vote. Mitch has got to go too. This guy's totally worthless. Mitch. Guy's a complete joke. The bill now heads to a likely conference with the House, which is scheduled to vote at 6.30 p.m. Monday to appoint confeers. Now we will move quickly to a conference committee so we can get a final bill to President Trump's desk, House Speaker Paul Ryan said in a statement. It's another worthless sperm. No Democrats voted for the legislation, which they said would balloon a deficit. You ballooned the deficit with Barack Hussein Obama, you jackasses! And provide other scraps to low and middle income earners while providing big tax cuts for the rich and multinational corporations. Hey, dumbass, the multinational corporations employ how many people? What the hell's wrong with you, Democrats? Democrats also complained that the bill was only fully released briefly before the vote because Republican leaders were making last-minute changes to the legislations behind closed doors. All those changes needed to be made. <laughs> Chucky Schumer. When the Senate finally geared up to vote, Senate Minority Leader Chucky Schumer said the Senate had hit a new low with the tax bill and made a motion for the Senate to adjourn. But Republicans defeated that motion just as they defeated several other motions to send the bill back to the Senate Finance Committee during the week. Folks, you want to read the rest of this article? These Democrats are brain dead. You know, nothing's perfect. Absolutely nothing's perfect. And we'll see how this thing unfolds. We had to do something. And again, nobody was concerned about Obama doubling the debt. Huh? How come that isn't a national security issue, as it should be. That guy needs to be taken to the woodpile. He needs to be tried for treason and hung by a skinny, scrawny neck. That's sort of what I think. And you damn well know why I think what I think, don't you?